For this week's portfolio entry, we're going to do a home energy audit. Our goal is to try to figure out on average how much energy we consume each month so that we can divide that by the number of days in a month to get the energy per day. Now what we've done is we've got a spreadsheet here that each of you is going to be able to download and manipulate by yourselves. And the spreadsheet that you're going to see when you download from the web page um, will be the one that is the energy audit from my home. So I want you to take this energy audit in this spreadsheet form and manipulate the data to profile your own energy use. So what we're going to do is kind of a room by room energy accounting as the title of this particular slide says. And when you look at this, we're going to start off by first looking at how much it costs us uh, both in energy and in money to run our lights. Now I've profiled my home. That's what all of this stuff is over here on the, on the left hand side. Each one of my rooms, each number of lights. And what I've done is for each fixture in a room, for example, starting in my kitchen, I have a ceiling light that has two bulbs. Each bulb uses 15 watts and that's because they're both CFL bulbs. So when you combine the two bulbs times their 15 watts, that particular uh, light fixture consumes 30 watts if it is on. Now I leave it on about four hours a day. And this spreadsheet will tell me that that is worth 120 hours a month. That will consume 0.12 uh, kilowatt hours per day, which is 3.6 kilowatt hours per month. And using the number um, 7.5 cents per kilowatt hour, I can find my cost per month. Now what I want you to do is go through your house and figure out how many uh, different lights you have, figure out their wattages, figure out the number of bulbs, and plug that data in here and let the spreadsheet do the calculations for you. So let's say that you go to your kitchen and instead of having just a ceiling light and a sink light, you actually have another light that's on the wall. Well, if you need to manipulate this page, let me show you how to do that. First, come over here to um, row number seven, click on it to highlight the whole row, right click on it, and then select insert. And that'll put an extra row in above row number seven where you can add another light. So let's call this the wall light. If that wall light contains four bulbs, each bulb uses 60 watts and they are incandescent bulbs, you'll find that the power in total can be calculated by this spreadsheet if we can simply just drag the formula downward. Now, there's a formula sitting inside columns E through J. For example, if I double click on column E, you'll see that the formula is to take uh, cell B6 and multiply it by cell C6. Well, if I want to use that formula in the new row that I've created, you look at the cell when you've highlighted it, and you see that little box that appears in the bottom right? When you put your mouse over it, your um, big plus sign here will turn into a small, skinny black one. And you can just drag downward to copy any formula to a new cell, like I'm doing here. So I'm copying all these downward for this particular one so that I can use the same calculations in this next row that I've entered. Now let's say that I have this wall lamp on for an average of let's say three hours every single day. If I put in three here, it will recalculate the number of hours it's on a month, which will now be 90. It will also calculate the energy per day, which is 0.72 kilowatt hours. For the month, this guy will consume 21.6 kilowatt hours, which at seven and a half cents per kilowatt hour, I'm up to $1.62 just by turning that light on every day for three hours. Now when you look at this, if you're living in an apartment or maybe your parents have a, a different size house, you can go through and add and subtract any of these rows. So let's say that your apartment only has one bathroom. Well, just go ahead and get rid of bathroom two. Click on uh, number 21, drag down to 23 here, right click, and then select delete and those go away. What's nice about this spreadsheet is these bottom three numbers right down here are unaffected by the way you manipulate the rows above it. So those th bottom three cells there tell you the cost per month of all your lighting, the kilowatt hours per month, and the energy per day or the kilowatt hours per day. And that is the number that we're after. Remember, we're trying to build these stacks of energy that tell us how much we consume with transportation, with our home energy audit, and with other things later in the semester. So for me, I use 2.02 kilowatt hours per day in lighting, which is pretty good because most of the bulbs that I use are CFLs. Now the next thing below this is a series of uh, calculations for appliances and electronics. So I have those that are in the kitchen, I have those that are in the living room or include uh, entertainment, I have gadgets, I have the laundry, I have showers and baths, I have heating and air conditioning, and then it all gets totaled up for me down here at the bottom. 
So let's take a look at uh, one of these to figure out how we would calculate, for example, for our microwave. Now our microwave I measured at 1,120 watts. I measured that with this device called the kilowatt. And if you want to go purchase one of these things, it's a great home uh, kind of tool to have because after using that kilowatt, which measures, the, kind of meters the power of my house, I was able to make the appropriate adjustments my energy use to pay for that kilowatt uh, meter. So you can buy these at Home Depot, you can buy them at Lowe's, all sorts of places like that. You just plug them into the wall, plug the device in, and it tells you how much wattage that particular device consumes. Well, my microwave is 1,120 watts. When it is off, it consumes nothing. But when it's in standby mode, it consumes 1.5 watts because it's running a clock. So I have the thing turned on for about 0.1 hours per day, just a few minutes per day. But for the other 24 hours, it's in standby mode, which means when this thing is on for 0.1 hours a day, it will consume 0.148 kilowatt hours of electricity. But because that thing runs 24 hours just to power the little clock, it also uses 0 0.036 kilowatt hours per day. Add them up for the month, I get 4.4 kilowatt hours for when I use the microwave to cook food, but 1.08 just by leaving it plugged in. That totals to 36 cents per month for me to cook food in my microwave. Now what's neat is I actually put a little um, kind of note here on the side. You can see I say we have a small microwave. A lot of microwaves are actually 1500 watts. And I also wrote in there that ours has a clock that uses 1.5 watts when it's on standby. So I kind of put notes to help me know what I was doing and remember what I was doing. Now, I also put them things up here, and you can use these numbers because they're pretty standard for like a coffee maker, for a dishwasher, uh, if you're going to bake something, or you're going to use your large cooking element, your small. Even if you have gas, go ahead and use these same numbers. They turn out to, to kind of be roughly the same. And I also left a lot of room for other things in here. Now, if you come over here, I made some suggestions what other things might be. If you have a rice cooker, a blender, a toaster oven, another refrigerator, a deep freeze, kitchen radius, stuff like this. You can look up the power by simply looking on the device itself, but if it's not listed there, just do a very simple internet search. Go to Google and type in rice cooker wattage or power use of rice cooker, and you'll be able to find a bunch of web pages that will tell you the typical power that they use. That's a perfectly acceptable way to estimate your power when you use this spreadsheet. Next, we have living room entertainment, so you can see all the things we have down here. For example, um, my television consumes 85 watts. G luckily, when the thing is off or it's in standby, it doesn't consume anything. But we have the dumb television on for probably six hours a day. So what happens is we leave it on six hours a day. My TV in a month costs me $1.22 just to run in power. Now you come down here, I've got uh, computing and gadgets, cell phones, electronics, you can get those all labeled out there as well. If you need more space in the spreadsheet, simply just, again, click on this, click on a row, and click insert, and you're good to go for adding more space. What's amazing is when you get down to the bottom things, doing the laundry, showers and baths, and heating and air, these are the big consumers. What's amazing about my house is during this month, which I did this calculation here for June, we don't really have the air conditioning on too much. I show you over here in the notes how often I leave the air conditioning on. You can read those when you get a chance. What's amazing is my daughter's baths consume the most energy in my house outside of, uh, of, of heating and air conditioning in the peak months. 12 bucks a month just to give her seven baths a week. What it all boils down to is this. I consume about 22 watts, or my household consumes about 22 watts, I'm sorry, kilowatt hours per day. And those 22 kilowatt hours per day are added to my energy stack throughout the year. So this is the ultimate goal that I want you guys to get down to when you're working on your energy calculations because our, our biggest goal here is to say, okay, each one of us uses this much energy per day and we've calculated that for our personal selves and we're also going to calculate that for an average citizen or an average household. The goal is to say, hey, can the United States, using its own renewables, and alternative energies, can we use those to match the power needs of every citizen? If we can do that, we will be energy independent, and that is the goal of doing this calculation. So get started, good luck. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but I'm sure once you work through this, you'll find it's a very, very rewarding calculation to go through. So again, good luck.